Hello everyone. Today I'm making a steak, steak mince pasta bake. Okay, this is a favorite on my social media pages. This recipe. Also, you can make it to your own taste. This is just basic, a basic recipe of how I make it. Also, don't forget to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Uh, the name of my channel is Fatima Sido Cooks. Okay, and without further ado, this is one medium onion, just chopped up. And here comes the optional part, the chili. That's four chilies. You do not have to add it. And then garlic to your taste. This is four fat cloves of garlic. I want to sweep down all the onions. And I have a kilogram of Lean beef mince. Okay. I'm going to do two things at once now. Please do not be along. <laughs> okay. You just want to switch it down. And there was only like one tablespoon of oil, not a lot. Okay, while this is going, you're in the back. It's <laughs> spicy. That chilies always get me. <laughs> Here the back is about 50 grams of butter in a saucepan. So I'm just let that go. Okay, so it melts. Okay. And yeah, I'm making a sauce like a white sauce, but I'm not making my conventional white sauce with flour and I'm using corn flour, Mazina. Okay. So here I have like half a liter of milk and I'm going to add three heaped tablespoons of corn flour to cold milk okay it must be cold milk stir that there I'll do two things at once <laughs> Go. I want to add the mint and let that also brown. Woo! <laughs> Excuse me, people, it's the chili. Wow. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna sneeze finish next. Okay, the butter is melted. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add salt here as well. One teaspoon of salt here. You can to your taste of course. And a teaspoon of mustard. This is just the English mustard. Okay. And black pepper. Both sides, eh? Okay. This is going nicely. And this will cook for about uh, 15 minutes because it will cook further. 
in the oven. I'll just add the, the rest of the ingredients just now. But let's get to the sauce at the back. I've put it on the heat on low. I'm going to add my milk for the corn flour and stirred well. And I'm going to add this to it. And now we just stir this until it thickens and then you'll decide if you want the sauce to be thicker or thinner. Thinner, add a bit more milk. Thicker, take some corn flour, maybe two teaspoons with a third of a cup of milk, stir and then add it to this. It's not your traditional white sauce. So please note, this is just one of my easy ways of doing it. <laughs> so this will just basically simmer until it has thickened. Okay. Now, okay, this will cook a bit more. And when we come back, I'll add the rest of the ingredients here with the mince. Okay guys, the sauce here at the back is done. It's nice and thick. Okay, you can make it as I said, thinner or thicker. I'm gonna think about that one if I want to thin it. And the mince have cooked now for the onions, the chili, salt, black pepper, and the garlic. Okay, for about 20 minutes. And I like this little chunks of mince, so I don't mind it. Okay, next is 115 grams of tomato paste. You of course can add fresh tomato, canned tomatoes, whatever you have in your pantry. This is what I have, so this is what's going in. Okay. Give it a stir. This is some mixed herbs mixed with dried parsley. Just add half in. The rest I'll do for later. Okay. And I'm just going to pause quickly because I forgot to take out my sugar. Okay. Got the sugar. You can of course add to your taste. This is third of a cup. But I think I'll do just a quarter, you see, yeah, about three, three to four tablespoons. Again, to your taste. <laughs> okay, now some water. Okay. About a cup worth of water. And now we cook this on a medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, the mince has cooked through. I've switched off the heat because now it's a matter of assembly. Before I do that, this is about one cup of cheddar cheese. And then I'm going to add my pasta. This is albo macaroni, three cups of uncooked albo macaroni. And then you just cook it with some water and some salt. I normally use the 500 gram, but this is the smaller recipe that I normally make. 
So I only used three cups. That's uncooked, hey? Okay. There we go. And what I do is, of course, I mix it. Yummy. Go. The cheese, the chili, the pasta. Look how it's melting. Nice. Okay. Okay. And the next step. is the sauce um, it did pull a bit thick so I added a half a cup of milk and I stirred it I just gently I also added a little bit I had left over white cheddar cheese just about half a cup and I threw it in here and this meal serves 10 people okay with a nice fresh salad on the side if you do this in a foil container, you can cool everything off and you can freeze it. You can make small ones, two small ones. Use the one for supper or lunch and freeze the other one for another day. That easy. Okay. And now, next, just going to put the cheese on. Some more cheese. And this is just some tomatoes I had. Cherry tomatoes and green pepper. Yellow, as they say, bell pepper. Green, red and yellow. Okay. You can do it any way you like. Okay, next, some black pepper, last sprinkling of dried herbs and dried parsley, you can at this stage add paprika, whatever you like, okay, and this goes into a preheated oven, 180 degrees. For about 35 minutes or when on top it's nice and golden brown and we'll be right back hi sorry guys just to show you I forgot to add the rest of the cheese so in total it's two cups of grated cheese and I know people so I had four cups but this is really up to you again it serves many many people and it's quite filling okay there we go now it's going into the oven Okay guys, here it is my steak mince pasta bake out of the oven. Look at that. And of course you can serve this just like this on its own or with a nice green salad. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Fatima Side of Cooks and I'll be back with another video. Bye.